how to accept credit card payment without Stripe in Hostinger Website Builder. So how you can accept the credit cards without the Stripe, which is going to be the main uh, payment gate getaway or gate to, through the payment methods of the uh, card or Visa card, MasterCard, Amex, and etc. The process is going to be very easy and very simple. Instead of using Stripe, we are going to use another payment provider, which is going to be PayPal. How we can do that? Basically, PayPal will accept credit cards for the non client of the uh, platform. For example, if someone has a PayPal account, it is going to be demanding it to uh, create or have the account connected to the payment getaway and then they are going to pay with their card and in case that someone has not paypal in their account they are going to get the ability to pay with cards so basically how we can set up this specific progress or this specific step you're going to head over the edge panel of the hostinger or the hostinger panel or dashboard you can name it whatever you want click on websites click on websites list and then you're going to see all the websites that you have created. Once you're here, you're going to make sure that you have at least one website integrated or connected to a domain because with the domain, you're going to be able to manage a store. Without a domain, you're going to be very limited. So here we have uh, this domain connected to our uh, hosting your website. We're going to click on manage store. And from here, we are going to manage the payment methods. So. It will show up here the uh, the settings of our store. This is the store manager. We have got the access to it. You can see from here or the store setup. As you can see, you can set up a payment method from here, or you can go ahead and head over of the settings and see from here the payments and sh shippings. As you can see, we're going to select payments. Now, as you can see, depending on your location, it is going to show you the specific methods or all the methods that are available for setting up the payments for example here we have friends we have stripe we have manual payments and we have paypal if i'm going to change that to for example to the united states you're going to see that we are going to have this the local go the stripe paypal and the uh, other things so i'm going to head over here so make sure that you're going to have at least a uh, the right location of yours if you're not going to see paypal or stripe or the favorite payment methods for yours uh, for your taste i mean you can go ahead and change the country or the location in here now you're going to have a paypal business account this is going to be only set up for paypal business if you do not how you can create a paypal business you're going to head over paypal then you are going to uh, have the ability to create a personal PayPal account or a business PayPal account. You can also switch a standard or a personal PayPal account to a business one by converting it. You can go ahead and have a button to convert it. So you are going basically here to click on connect. But unfortunately, I cannot connect it because we are on the standard plan and it will be demanding at least the business plan to accept the payments. Now, this is no worries in here. So the process is going to be very easy. Connect, you're going to get here a window that will set up or uh, at least give you the access for paypal.com. Then you're going to put your account information about the password of the email that you have put for PayPal, accept and allow the transaction, not the transaction, but the enablement or the integration of the PayPal in here. After that, you're going to see that this is going to be connected or finished. Once you have set up here, uh, the payment method, you're going to try it by heading over your store, adding products, for example, like these. And then you're going basically to have on the checkout uh, something like this. So the payment method is going to be PayPal. Either you are going to have the button of the shoes in PayPal by clicking on PayPal and paying with PayPal or clicking on debit or credit card like that. So you are going to put the card number, the expires, the CSC or the CVV and the bill address and etc. Once you have finished, you're going to pay and PayPal will get the charge of this specific amount that you have put on the total due and then it will take it from your credit card or debit card. So basically you're going to have the process very simple, very easy for you. 
make sure that you have at least added some products so you can go ahead and see them that they are going to be added to the checkout and this is something that you are going to seek for also uh, do not forget to set up the shipping because it is going to be very important to set up the shipping methods because without the shipping and without the business plan you cannot uh, get or collect payments in here so for the business plan it will cost you here i'm going to let you see the uh the costs so business plan web hosting it is going to be seven dollars 0.99 per month if you are going to have here a 12 month subscription so it is going to be just like that but if you are going to have here another uh, or a specific or a monthly subscription you're going to only have this but the business plan is going to be only for a uh, year or yearly subscription Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.